Hey everybody, it's Chris from Xano. Welcome back to another Metadata API video. Today, I'm super excited to show you how you can use the Metadata API to programmatically manage your files library in Xano. If you haven't seen the first introduction video to the Metadata API, I definitely recommend checking that out. We'll have a link in the description below. But if you're unfamiliar, the Metadata API is a new set of APIs that Xano offers for you to programmatically manage content all across your Xano workspace. So let's jump over to the Metadata API documentation so I can show you these file endpoints in action. Okay, so here we are in the Metadata API documentation, and you can see we have currently four endpoints related to working with files in Xano. In our workspace, we can go to the files library and we can see that we have no files uploaded currently. So let's go back to the documentation and let's just start with uploading a file. So I'm going to click try it out. I'm going to provide my workspace ID. In this case, it is workspace number three. And I'm going to choose a file to upload. Okay, so we have our file there. And now we will choose a file type of image and click execute. So we'll give that just a moment. So it looks like we have a success here. Let's head over to Xano and check our files library. So here we have the image that we just uploaded via the metadata API. Pretty cool. Now, maybe I don't want to navigate to my files library to list the files that I have here. Maybe I want to also call a list of all my files via an API. We have that as well. So I'm going to use this get endpoint to list files within the workspace. I'll click try it out. We have a workspace ID of three. I'm going to say I want page one. I'm not going to search for anything, but you do have the option to search, sort, and filter the results. So we'll go ahead and just click execute. And you can see there is my one file. One of the most highly requested features that we have been asked for is a way to programmatically manage and delete files inside of your Xano files library. We recently introduced a delete file function in the function stack to help you do that but the metadata API unlocks an entirely new world of possibilities in making sure that your files library is as lean as possible and you are able to programmatically remove the files that you no longer need. So let's actually go ahead and delete the file that we just uploaded. So we're going to give our workspace ID and we also need to provide a file ID, which it looks like this one has an ID of five. So we'll just type that in there, click execute. And let's go over to Xano and take another look at our files library. So that file is now completely gone as expected. We also have a bulk delete option available if you want to delete multiple files in one swing. Thanks so much for watching. We're really looking forward to seeing how you take advantage of the new metadata API features. Please let us know if you have any questions down in the comments below. You can also reach out to us via support chat in Xano or on the Xano community. We'll see you in the next one.